Before I begin this guide, I'd like to also point out that I'll be covering other parts of Cluster Strike speedrunning in other videos. However, for now, I'll just be covering auto splitting. Alright, let's begin. Start with downloading the RAR file from the link in the description below. Once the download's done, use a program like 7-zip or WinRAR to extract the file. I personally use 7-zip because it's free and doesn't spam you, but you can also use WinRAR. Besides that, the next thing you want to do is run the application file. Once the application is open, the first thing you'll want to do is adjust the settings. You can pretty much ignore these two checkboxes, but what's more important is the split by world or level setting. If you would like live split to split per world, select the by world bubble. Otherwise, select the by levels bubble if you would like it to split per one of the 90 cluster truck levels. Once your settings are configured, we're going to start looking for where your cluster truck is installed. I have my cluster truck moved to my SSD, which I highly recommend by the way, but what this probably means for you is that your Steam folder is inside of the program folders, so check there. Anyways, next go into Steam Apps, Common, Cluster Truck, Cluster Truck Data, and then finally Managed. Once you're here, be sure to select the assembly C -sharp .dll file and hit Open. Now smash the patch slash update button and subscribe button. Although, I'm just kidding about the second. Hit OK and this data folder should be created. And then we're done. One more thing though. Make sure live split is open before cluster truck is, otherwise the auto splitter won't work. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. I plan on making more of these tutorials for movement and skips for cluster truck, but otherwise I don't plan on making anything else unless you guys prompt me to. Peace out.